density density of water and how do you find the density of air i will also teach you that how to calculate density before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and you will get access to our hundred of conceptual videos for free let me teach you the concept of mass and volume let consider that there is a bike and a heavy truck we all know that both bike and the truck have well known values of masses the mass of the bike is smaller than the mass of the truck here the bike occupies small space while the truck occupies large space so the bike occupies some space or volume and has some mass similarly the truck also occupies some space or volume and has some mass in physics when an object occupying some space or volume and has some mass is known as a matter so according to physics these both objects are matter remember this very important point for learning density when there is mass there is volume let me repeat it when there is mass there is volume now let me ask you a question is there exist any relationship between mass and volume to learn this question let consider a box containing iron and a bag containing cotton let the mass of iron in the box is 1 kg and the mass of cotton in the bag is also 1 kg do you see the difference in volumes i mean the difference in volumes between 1 kg iron and 1 kg cotton even in our daily life or here in this example we can see the difference in volumes although the mass of iron and cotton is 1 kg but the volume of 1 kg cotton is greater than the volume of 1 kg iron or one can say that 1 kg iron occupies small space than 1 kg cotton to solve this mass and volume puzzle you must learn the arrangement of molecules or atoms both in iron and in cotton the molecules of the iron are closely packed together in uniform pattern while the molecules of cotton are loosely packed together in a very non uniform way one another explanation is that the interspaces or distance among the molecules of iron is very small while the interspaces or distance among the molecules of cotton is large so the molecules of iron are closely packed and the molecules of cotton are loosely packed together therefore iron occupies small space and has small volume while cotton occupies large space and has large volume thus the relationship between mass and volume depends upon the arrangement of atoms in a substance now what is density the definition of density is mass per unit volume or you can define density the total mass of any substance present in 1 meter cube let me teach you a very different and a very easy definition of density let consider two flasks let the volume of this flask is 1 meter cubed and the volume of this flask is also 1 meter cubed now it is filled from water and it is filled from petrol after filling these two flasks they both are placed on digital balance remember that here i neglect the mass of a flask the mass of water in 1 meter cube flask is 1000 kg while the mass of petrol in 1 meter cube flask is 800 kg hence the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cubed while the density of petrol is 800 kg per meter cubed remember that whenever you hear that the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cubed think that there is 1000 kg water 
present an one meter cubed volume. And when you hear that the density of petrol is eight hundred kg per meter cubed, think that there is eight hundred kg petrol present in one meter cubed volume. Now, what is the formula of density? The formula of density is equal to mass per unit volume. A rho is equal to m upon v. Remember that density is denoted by Greek letter rho. The SI unit of mass is kg, while the SI unit of volume is meter cube. Thus, the SI unit of density is rho is equal to kg per meter. Cubed. Remember that if you increase the volume of a given mass, density will be decreased because there is inverse relationship between density and volume. Now let me teach you that how do you find the density of air. Let consider a balloon. I fill this balloon from air. Let the volume. Of balloon filled from air is four meter cubed. Now I place this balloon on the digital balance. Let the mass of balloon filled with air is five point two kg. We know that density rho is equal to mass upon volume. Here the volume of air in the balloon is four meter cubed. while the mass of the air in the balloon is 5.2 kg the rho is equal to 5.2 kg upon 4 meter cube as a result i will get 1.3 kg per meter cube let me also teach you that how can you find the density of water let again consider a big flask of Two meter cubed. First of all, measure the mass of empty flask on electronic balance. Let the mass of empty flask is six kg. Now fill this two meter cube flask from water and place it on the electronic balance. Let the reading on the electronic balance is two hundred kg. Now here. The electronic balance shows combined masses of water and the six kg flask, while we only need the mass of water in two meter cube flask. So here, I will minus the mass of flask from this reading. I know that the mass of flask is six kg. Hence, mass of water is equal to two thousand kg minus six kg. I will get mass of water is equal to nineteen hundred ninety four kg. Thus, the mass of water in the flask is nineteen hundred ninety four kg, while the volume of flask is two meter cubed. We know that density rho is equal to mass upon volume. Now, plug in these values in this equation. The rho is equal to Nineteen hundred ninety four kg upon two meter cube. As a result, we get rho is equal to nine hundred ninety seven kg per meter cube. Therefore, the density of water is nine hundred ninety seven kg per meter cube. At last, let me give you a bonus tip. Do you know that wooden objects? Do not sink in the water, while this ball smaller than this sofa sink in the water. Well, we know that the density of water is round about one thousand kg per meter cubed. In this case, the density of sofa or density of wood is smaller than the density of water. I mean, the density of sofa is smaller. Then the one thousand kg per meter cube density of water. That's why sofa doesn't sink in the water. While here, in this case, the density of this ball is greater than the 
1000 kg per meter cubed density of water that's why this ball sink in the water therefore remember that if the density of an object is smaller than the density of water or 1000 kg per meter cubed it will not sink in the water on the other side as the density of an object is greater than 1000 kg per meter cube it will sink in the water to learn about this sinking phenomena you must learn archimedes principle which we will discuss in our upcoming videos if you have learned the concept of density and calculating densities of air and water then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures thank you very much for watching this video